I got this segment on this show. It's called On the Fucking Spot. Copy. All right? You All know right. what that means? Yeah, I know what that means. What does mean? that mean? That means spit. That means you on the spot. <clears throat> we need to hear some bars, man. I need you to look into that camera and impress the hell out of Jamaica, impress the hell out of Brooklyn, impress the hell out of Buju Bantan, impress the hell out of Bob's Cartel. <laughs> Let's get it. And your, and your mother, man. God bless her. I love you, man. Let's go. Let's see what you got. 16, yo, you fucking, you ain't off your chain home. Let me see this nigga stab his face with the nose bone. I'm the type down, make the blood gush that scary. You the type down, punch and run, pussy step to me. Fucking cause I never got all up in your rap case. Fucking me again, the sperm is all up in your girl face. Scared of me, come my niggas, put you on that drive-by. Snap the neck to sleep, have your mama singing lullabies. Mm. I'm a street nigga, you don't mess with niggas like me. I got the anomalies, types of teens and the max B. Bitches love me, chest screaming, fuck me. Who like your raps? Motherfucker, nobody. I don't wear big chains cause I wear rubber bands. Send me outside with the microphone in my hands. Anytime you ready to battle me, just let me know. Rapid take you a mile away like a nitro. Heard you snitching, talking mad shit to the 5 volt. Homie, you a pussy nigga. Step up your hood figure and stop copying rhymes you got from Jigger. You already <laughs> know. I remember having no crumbs in the plate in the hood hustle song. Can't be in my face when I blow you the same, ain't offer me none. Came a long way from the dirty hallways, must have bust a hundred licks. Every day, wake up, same shit, woke up thinking different. Nigga, woke up thinking dividends. It's me and fam, don't need no fans unless it's gang can't shit on them. If there's a palm, no super sane, no dragon balls laying in the palms, there's a few gats straight killing shit. Murder everything I really do, so I might as well murk the remix. Every, all my niggas do is remix. All right. I gave you some bars. You're good, you're good, you're good. You know what it is, man? DJ Thorough, AKA Thorough Zion on the bridge to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets. Right here on thisis50.com. Like always, like always. Got a special guest in the building. Introduce yourself. You already know El Sound, straight out of Brooklyn, New York. Cry has to be exact. Let's get it, man. Okay, let's break that name down. What does that mean? El Psalms. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, you know, my first name is Lion. Okay. So that, that's where the L is at. And um, the Psalms, you know, I come from a no. Nah, I come from a like a biblical background. Okay. So my mom's, you know, like to stay out of trouble or to keep like spirit, bad spirits or whatever. You know, they they open up the book of Psalms or they consistently read in the book of Psalms. Mm. So I felt like it's powerful. You know, it's, it's deep. Yeah. So and deep. I come from a Caribbean background, Jamaican. You, Are you know? Jamaican? Yeah. Shaba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I don't say. Yeah. Okay. So Jamaican American. You know, my pops he Grenadian. Yeah. Okay. That's what, you were born in Jamaica? You nah, were, I went to school for a little bit in Jamaica. What, what part of Jamaica? Um, I'm not really sure exactly what part, but I was with my aunt. <laughs> it was years Jamaica. ago. <laughs> it was years ago. Like I was probably like a toddler, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. It was when my mom and my pops was going through their court right. situation, so, custody shit. You know? So I'm going to step out on a limb here and say you're from Bro you live in Brooklyn. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. why, do, why does everyone from Jamaica look, go to Brooklyn? I don't what is that about? <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> but you know, Crown Heights, you know, Crown it's, Heights, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of Caribbeans over there, right. especially but with the label they parade. They all go to Crown there. Heights. Everybody, Utica Ave, Utica, Utica, yes, Utica, really? Utica. <laughs> Why did it, what, what is that about? Is that like? I guess that's the mainland that was, for. That was a transportation that's the agreement. Second. Like if you leave here, you gotta go there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Because even even not even with Utica alone, like with other countries as well, like Jamaicans, like is either. Brooklyn right. or is out of UK or you know? Okay. That's how it is. All right. Man. All right, so you and this is fifty, man. This is this is a big this is a big deal, man. It is. Especially when you're talking to me. It's a big deal. Man. I know, right? I feel I feel the big you deal. Feel it, right? I feel All the right. You heard that, right? I feel the presence. Because I don't talk to no I don't talk to losers, man. You don't. Shout out to my boy DJ Tarzan, man. Yeah, he was bringing him. me you know, a lot of good talented people come up here through him, you know. So and also ladies, if you're ever behind on your rent, you need your <laughs> card note paid, hit up DJ Tarzan. He got you, all right? <laughs> the mortgage is due, you know, whatever. He got it. He got it, man. Hit up DJ, hit up DJ Tarzan, man. For everything, all right? man. Hit DJ Tarzan for everything. <laughs> nah, son. He's over there like, hell. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't hit me for everything. Don't do it. Not for everything, right? All right, so you out here, man. You running around, you know, you're getting your shit out there. What are we promoting today? What's going on? You know, I dropped my EP, you know, of March 28th. Okay. That was mm -hmm. the other day. No, March 25th. What was the other March day? March 25th, yeah. 
Was that the other day? Well, Soon. That was, yeah, that, was, was, that was a while ago. Was, I dropped my EP. Put it like you dropped that. the EP. What is it called? <laughs> it's called Nothing's Given. Nothing is Given. Mm -hmm. It's on all platforms. Um, mm, Apple like Music, Spotify, Tidal. Right. Everywhere. You're striking me as a deep brother. What does that mean? Nothing is given. What, from um, your perspective, what do, you, what do you mean? Where are you going with that? I came, you know, I had a you know single mother. You know, mm. my pops wasn't always there, so you know, like it was a lot of hardships going up from where I was coming from, and a lot of things is always going on, and in Brooklyn in general, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like me as coming up as an adolescent, you know, it's a lot of things you gotta keep your eye open for. It's a lot of things you gotta. Like, you just got to keep your mind sane through right. all the bullshit, you know? Because it's easy to get lost. Right. Very easy. Like, you can get lost like this. Right. So if you don't have a good head on your shoulders, you're in trouble. Right. You, you know seem you strike me as someone that was raised correctly. Like, I mean, I'm getting that vibe from you. Like, you, we was talking earlier. You say you were, you were enrolled in school, right? Correctly. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was fucking up, you know? Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, I just, like, for the past few months and everything, like I said, I got my, I'm starting to get my shit together and I'm right. starting to do what I need to do. You know, um, I dropped out of school twice, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was going through a little rough um, time, you know, like just with my music and everything. Like I was dropping out just to see like where I could go with the music and everything like that. Right. And like in the times of me dropping out, you know, I was getting into like a little mischief here and there. And um, yeah, like it's all about, Catching yourself. Right, well, you, you do realize you can do both, right? Yeah, like, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, you can go you to can school do both. and do music. Exactly. You don't have to drop out of school. You don't. And you don't have to stop doing music. You can, they can coexist. You can do both. It's all about the maturity. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like now, like, I'm mature, you know? Right. I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where I'm becoming a young adult and right. I need to do what I need to do. Okay, so um, c coming from Brooklyn, by the way, of Jamaica... Who were some of your favorite artists you were listening to growing up? Shit, it's a lot of reggae in my crib. I would assume. That's dope. <laughs> a lot of I reggae. Mean, my, dope, my older brother, you know, shout out to Gary, you know, he he put me on the music, period. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the Sizzlers to the Garnet Silks mm. to the um, the Bob Marley's, the Vibes Cartel even, you know, right. Beanie Man. Booja. Like, Buju Bantan, you Buju. know? Yep. Like, all of them. That's all that was playing in my crib. One day, though, you know what I'm saying? I was I had to be like, like in what kindergarten. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was playing what he was playing, but mm -hmm. it was it was hip hop. It was Tupac. You know what I'm saying? It was their mama came on and on, mm -hmm. on and I wasn't I wasn't I was I heard hip hop, but I wasn't used to like right. sitting down and really listening and grasping what's going on. You know? Right. So like I heard that song and. All right. I'm a, um. Let me share something with you. How old are you? Me, I'm 21. Just turned 21 okay. in January. You may or may not know this. <clears throat> you know who started hip hop and where it was from? I heard it was from. I heard it's from the Bronx. I'm not. I'm not in sure. But you know, but particular. He, right, but you know he's a descent. You know he's. You know he's, where he's from. Like where he came from. He's. He, he came to the Bronx from. A, from where you're from. Uh. From Jamaica. A Jamaican started hip hop. Shit. Cool Herc. Haha. <laughs> DJ Cool Herc, he came here in 1968 from the Bronx. I heard the name, actually. Yeah, well, it, it right. well, you need to know the name because the reason you're sitting here, the reason I'm sitting here, the reason why hip-hop even exists is because of this guy. Salute to Cool Herc. Cool Herc. DJ Cool Herc. DJ Cool Herc. He, DJ cool Herc. He's from Kingston, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. He came here in 1968. Copy. And started hip-hop in 1973. That's dope. Here in the Bronx. I learned something today. You learned something today, I you know? Did. Shout out to DJ Cool I charge Herc. for knowledge, too. <laughs> <laughs> you learn we gonna, something We're going to talk after, man. We're going to talk yeah, after, Yeah, I like man. this guy. See? I like this guy. So, yeah. Yeah, so. That's what's up, man. That's instilled in you, and you didn't even, really, you didn't even realize that. I didn't realize you come from that. I didn't even realize You didn't even realize that. That's crazy. Man. Yeah, see that? I taught you something about yourself today. You did, man. You know? <laughs> You see that's that? Cool. Yeah, it's in your blood, man. It's bloodline, man. It's a bloodline, man. It's funny because everybody in my family do music, man. Hey, that's crazy. Th there's a reason for even that. In, even my family back home in Jamaica, they right. do music too. Well, you know, us as, as us as minorities and 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 just black people in general, we're 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 very cultural and and musically inclined. I tell you something else you may not know. Mm -hmm. Every genre of music was made by a black person. Of course. Did you know that? I knew that. Rock. Country, soul, pop, jazz, we, Latin, calypso, reggae, lit. reggaeton, everything. We just lit. They, everything. I feel like they take from us. Like of course we are they so, take. We are so we are so 
popular as a as a black culture, like they don't even want to give us that recognition because of how powerful we are. You're right. The facts. Exactly. I tell you something else you didn't know. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now keep going. So it's good to learn. Let's talk man. about fashion. You know why people have been dressed the way they do? It's because of us. You That's know when you go to these stores and they got these mannequins dressed up. Back mm -hmm. in the days, there was no mannequins. You had to go over here to get the jeans. You had to run over there to get the sneakers. You had to put it together. Now you go into the store. And it's all laid it's out. It's all laid out. It wasn't like that before. You know? Right. Exactly. So and I'll tell you this. <laughs> since we on the... He teaching, we man. Teach, I'm teaching he right teaching. now. Today, He's my professor right now. Class is in session, man. Facts, Kyle. Class is in session. Call me Karish for right now. Class is in session. Tell you something else you didn't know. There was a group of guys from Brooklyn, right? Mm -hmm. They put this clothing line called... You ever heard of Ralph Lauren? Of course. Who's Ralph Lauren? Polo. <laughs> Polo. Exactly. There's these kids from Brooklyn in the early 80s. You know, Polo was never meant for us. It was meant for Ivy League schools and uppity, preppy white people. Mm. We took that shit and made it ours. And now they rock it. And now they rock it. That's a fact. <laughs> That's, that's a crazy. fact. Nah, that's what, see? And when I say they, we took it, we stole it. We was buying that shit, boosting it. Yeah, still on that shit. And we still doing it to this day. So I don't know about all that, but I don't, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if they're still on it, but they, they, they was buying it. We buying it now, but uh -huh. back then, we're still on that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot of history, man, that goes on. Everything is, and everything is, is just full circle. You know, it all goes back to us. We invented everything. The end of the story, you know? And people take and borrow and bite, you know, all types of shit. That's all love, though. It's all, it's so all I just need you to be aware of you, who you are and what you are, man. You're a king, man. I'm more aware right? now than right? I was ever before. See that? You're aware. That's you got, see, I, make you, I, I wake you up over here, man. Exactly. You, all right? Tell your professor, man. They come in there and do a lecture in your class, man. <laughs> all right? For a small fee, of course. Of course. All right? So listen, if you want someone to get the first impression of you, right? Uh -huh. I'm sure you have videos on YouTube, right? Copy. What video would you want them to see right now? The video I would want them to see... Mm -hmm. Right now, first impression. Mm -hmm. If no one ever heard of you and seen you before in their life, and you say, "Hey, I do music. Go check this out," you know you're gonna get a chance to make one a good impression. What would that be? Shit. <laughs> um, I'll choose. Um, I'll choose Phil Goals. My first video. Phil Goals. All right. So tell them go check the. Go them. check out Phil Gold. That was my first video ever made. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Salute. Salute to um, Famous Dave. Yeah, Famous Dave. He's who shot the video. All right. Now, what is field goals about? I think automatically football or something. Um, like kicking a field goal. It was kind of something like that, but it's like, you know, I was in a predicament where I felt that, you know, everybody was doubting. Like, from family to, no shade, of course, but from family to, like, to friends, certain friends, and right. like it was the beginning of my grind. So it's like everybody's doubting you. Everybody's like, uh, you well, really want to do this, right. or you really want to do that, or so it's like I made that song specifically for the haters right. out there. Like, well, look like, like basically get off of me and let me do me. Like you feel you do me? You. Well, look like DJ Tarzan was a a good a avid fan. Nah, he like yeah. he he reached out to me even before. Like me and him was supposed to connect for. A showcase. It never really got to happen, but right. he always got opportunities available, so right. we always gonna make it happen. All right, all right. So you're you're 21. In this day and age, who who are you rocking with? You know, it's a whole new generation of artists. Who Shit. you rocking with right now? Dave East, man. Dave East. Oh, so we going lyrical. Dave, Dave East. East. That's who you rocking with. Dave East, Don Q. Hey Boogie. Hey Boogie. I already know where you're going now. Um, I already, last luck. You I know already, what I'm saying? I, Salute I, my dude, last luck. I already know what's going on now. Mm -hmm. I get it. So that tells me you walk the road of lyri lyricism. Yeah, I like lyricism. Yeah. Like I like I like to have fun on records too, but I feel like me when you hear a record from me, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear fun and you're gonna hear lyrics. Oh, 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 oh shit. Not for real. I just had a flashback. Sorry. That's up, man. I had a flashback, cause Kooji, you know who Kooji Rap is? You yeah. should know who Kooji yeah, Rap I know is. Who Kooji, Rap Kooji Rap is. Kooji Rap right there. That's a legend, man. Cool I know he's a legend. Cool G rap. That's like that's like Nas's pot. Exactly. Um, Is that that's, what, the that's who Nas wanted to be like. Yeah, there exactly. You go. Nas wanted to be like Cool G rap and Rock Kim. Mm -hmm. I had him sitting right here, spitting. That's legendary. I had Jada Kid sitting right here, spitting. I had Styles P sitting right there, 
Spitting. Legendary. Even had Cassidy sitting right there, spitting. Mm-hmm. You know what? I even had Master P. You know who Master P is? Of course I know who uh, Master P is. <laughs> I had Master P, of all people, sitting right there, <laughs> spitting. I got this segment on the show. It's called On the Fucking Spot. Copy. All right? You all know right. what that means? Yeah, I know what that means. What does mean? that mean? That means spit. That means you on the spot. <clears throat> we need to hear some bars, man. I need you to look into that camera and, and press the hell out of Jamaica, and press the hell out of Brooklyn, and press the hell out of Bujubantan, and press the hell out of Bob's cartel. <laughs> Let's get and it. Your, and your mother, man. God bless you. I love you, mom. Let's go. Let's see what you got. All right. Let's go. Now, what me, you like, I'm a type of dude, like, I like to be authentic, and I like to, you know, right. I like to actually, you know, work on, my, work, work on it. You know right. what I'm saying? No, it's like, all good. I, I like to... When somebody tell me to spit, right. freestyle, like I, w- I really wanted to, you know? Right. Be no, that. that's good. That's good. A lot of people, they take the easy way out. And, you know what I'm saying? And they recycle the same rhyme over and over, so that's dope. Nah, not me, man. That's all good. <laughs> so listen, if anybody want to um, get in contact with you or follow you, how can they do that? L Psalms, Instagram, L Psalms, at L S A L M S, and that's for Instagram, Twitter. Um, Snapchat is L Psalms Music. Right. I don't really be on the Snap, though. Don't hit me on that. But just to put that out there. <laughs> so yeah, L Psalms. It's simple, real simple. L S A L M S. Say it again. L S A L M S. Um. Also, I want to ask you, as a, as an independent artist, how how important are showcases like the one you know DJ Tarzan do? What is what is your showcase called again? The next big showcase. The next big showcase. How important are those type of showcases to artists such as yourself? Um. I'm not gonna lie. Like I had bad experiences before. Mm-hmm. Where I feel like they just take your bread, but <laughs> real. T- hey, he's, he's honest. I'm being real, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. But um, when I when I talk with DJ Tarzan, like he he really like broke it down to me even more when me and him was chopping it up, and it's like more to it. Like it's not even about you know you going in and winning or you going and just and just spitting on stage. It's about like networking. Like it's all about That's opportunity. Exactly you know what it's what about. Saying? It's about opportunity. It's about Making sure like you could do what you gotta do, like you got your flash, your flash, your, not not yeah yeah your flash drive, your um business cards mm-hmm. of course um banners, flyers, and you just promoting yourself to the best of your ability. You never know who's gonna be at the spot. That's, see, you 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 get it. That's exactly what it's about. It's not whether you win or lose. It's about you got a network. Can keep elevating. Yeah, that's exactly what it's about. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Exactly it was one about. good. It was one good one I did. Um. And my bro, last luck, salute, last luck. Um, it was at Blackthorn Fifty One. I don't know if you heard of those. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a event for Power One Hundred Five One, um, and we performed. We had a great time. Um, everybody was focused on winning. You see people going home. Oh, it's taking too long. Let me leave. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not really about that. You know, it's like you just never know who's on the spot. Like, I don't want to get her name wrong. It was a girl from Dreamville, um, Ari, Ari Lennox, Ari Lennox. I, I, forgive me if I pronounce your name, love, um, if I mispronounce your name. No. But yeah, she was there, and she performed last, bro. You wouldn't even know, like, she was, because at the time, like, yo, she just, the way she was dressed and everything, you wouldn't even know she was a star, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and for her to be the last person to perform and everybody dipped, I feel like everybody missed that. Right. Missed that a lot. You could have chopped it up with her. You could have said right. You should have. Right. What, it's what, about what, what was wrong? What was what, what was right about your performance? You know, because she made it so it's obvious. Like she got some type of gems to to give off to, to offer to, people. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like yeah, like stick around longer. Don't be selfish. You know. Right. Facts. Because no, you, you are it. there to support other artists too. You know. Right. That's another thing too. Now you get it. You get it. So. Is there anything you want to cover that we didn't cover before we get out of here? The EP. Let's talk about it. Um, Nothing's Given EP mm-hmm. is out now on all streaming services. Um, uh, the first song, King, you know. The okay. second song is um, Mission. The third song is um, is Man of My Word featuring my, my, my homie Critical. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you, is it just all you or you have other people no, on I it? I got other people on there. It's Critical, Salute to Critical, you know. Um, he reached out to me through through a mutual friend of of ours, um, DJ Elevate, and he reached out and I got the verse. 
Okay. And it, it worked out. Um, salute to Fully. He's on. She. He's on. She love the crew. That's number four. Okay. You know, it's a. It's a song for the ladies. It's a track for the ladies. The ladies gonna love it. And um, the last song is Tears Run Dry. It's featuring my cousin D. Ross. Okay. Rasta man. Right. Straight from Jamaica. I was gonna ask you that. Now in your music, do we hear any reggae? We hear reggae. Is it reggae Trust influence? Me, you hear that okay. Reggae, especially. I'm and um, song number five, Tears One Dry is a reggae. Okay. You know, he's spinning that reggae on there. Right. Okay. Gotta, gotta keep it with the culture. Oh, you, you gotta know? keep it, you gotta, that's who you are. It's a part of you. You gotta keep maintaining that. You know? You gotta keep it with the culture. And you should you should DM or you should um, hit up Cool Herc and say thank you too. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm gonna find him on Insta. Yeah, you find him, I just wanna say thank you. That's it. You know? Pay respects, man. That's what we do up here, man. Exactly. And always support who support you. Remember that. Yeah, of course, man. All right? Always, man. Always so, got to do that. Right. So once again, let them know where they can follow you at. L Psalms, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, L Psalms, L-S-A-L-M-S. You already know. No sleep. You already know it's good, man. Nothing's Given EP is out now. Go check right, that out. There it is, man. L Psalms, DJ Thorough. Nothing is Given, the EP. Go check that out. Shout out to my boy DJ Tarzan. Let's get this it. This is 50.com. Hottest in the streets. You know what it is, and like always, when you see us, when near us, let me pay respects. Mm -hmm.